Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to start the programming in C. So first of all, I will tell you some features of C programming language. The C programming language is designed to create small, fast programs. It is lower level than most uh, other programming languages. It means that it creates a code which is a lot closer to what machine really understands. Now, what happens is uh, the computer understand only one language, that is machine language. So what happens in machine code, a uh, machine code is a binary stream of ones and zeros. So when you write a C program or when you write a C code, that uh, C code must be converted into machine code by the compiler. So what happens uh, when you write a program, then the source file which contains uh, your program, right? That uh, source file, you must run uh, your source file uh, uh, through compiler so what happens uh, the compiler checks uh, for error and once it finds that there is no error in the program it compiles the code and uh, what would be the output of uh, the compiler uh, this uh, compiler creates a new file which is called an executable and uh, this file contains machine code uh, machine code means a uh, streams of ones and zeros which uh, the computer understands so this is the program which you can run right now uh, c is used where speed space and portability are important most of the operating systems are written in c most of the computer languages are also written in c now let us see this uh, sample c program now to create a full program you need to enter your source code into a C source file right and uh, what happens uh, the C source files uh, can be created by any text editor and the file names usually end with dot C right suppose uh, we have written this C program right and uh, the name of the file is sample dot C so what happens C source files uh, can be created by any text editor and the file names <coughs> ends with dot c as you can see here uh, this file name is sample dot c c is a very very small language and it cannot do anything without the use of external libraries so you need to tell the compiler what external code to use by including header files for the relevant libraries so here you can see that uh, in this uh, line we have included this header file stdio.h and uh, C is a function oriented programming language so it means all C code runs inside functions and uh, here you can see this main function right so what happens uh, this main function has a written type of int right it means uh, this main function returns an integer value so what happens uh, the main function is the starting point for all of the code in your program if you don't have a function called this main then your program will not be able to start